yesterday yesterday we started the reaction of acid we did the first one that when you have a metal it react with acid this will result in a formation of salt and hydrogen this was the first reaction we discussed yesterday you should know what is the observation you should understand what are the <clears throat> metals which react with this acid the equation word symbolic and as well as ionic and the last thing you should know how to obtain this salt this is what we discussed yesterday the second reaction we'll do today that's metal oxide plus acid so if you have metal oxide you react with acid this will result in a formation of salt plus water this is the second reaction metal oxides normally we call metal oxide as insoluble base as well so what is the state of metal oxide metal oxides are solid what is the state of acid acids are aqueous what is the state of the salt which is formed here it depends which salt is formed you may have an aqueous salt formed here or you may have a solid state the salt form if it is soluble salt then it will be aqueous if it's insoluble salt then it will be in solid state and water is there so what is the state of the water water is in a liquid state these are the state symbols <clears throat> what happen in this reaction metal oxide react with acid result in a formation of salt and water so example you have a container and this container is filled with acid and you are adding a metal oxide I like different type of metal oxide you add the metal oxide is solid so when you add this metal oxide to acid the metal oxide will react its size will decrease so as it is reacting with acid the size of the metal oxide will decrease but there is no gas given off you can see in the product there is no gas so we don't observe any bubbles so what is the observation here what we'll observe the solid metal oxide size will decrease you can also use the term that the metal oxide dissolve here the dissolving refers to that there is a chemical reaction between acid and metal oxide this is what we observe but we don't observe any bubbles why we don't observe any bubbles because in this reaction there is no gas given off so if there is no gas given off that's why you don't observe any bubbles the second thing is writing a equation this is first thing observation then if you want to write a word equation so if i say sodium oxide plus hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acids give chloride salts sulfuric acid gives sulfate salts nitric acid gives nitrate salt so same idea so what will be the product if we add sodium oxide to hydrochloric acid the word equation so it will form a salt which salt because it's a hydrochloric acid so it will form a chloride salt so result is sodium chloride plus water
then the state symbols for word equation state symbols are not necessary but you can mention the state symbol sodium oxide here you have solid hydrochloric acid is aqueous sodium chloride most chlorides are soluble except silver mercury and lead so sodium chloride will be aqueous and water is there in a liquid state is it clear metal oxide so when you have a metal oxide plus acid this will result in a formation of a salt plus water another example if you have magnesium oxide and you add sulfuric acid what will be the product when magnesium oxide reacted with sulfuric acid so the product is magnesium sulfate plus water so magnesium sulfate plus water will be there as a product so whenever metal oxide react with acid the result is salt plus water we are discussing the second reaction we already discussed the first one in the first one when metal was reacting with acid this will result in a formation of salt and hydrogen but now we are discussing a second reaction in which a metal oxide is there so metal oxide plus acid result in a formation of salt and water is it clear this word equation uh, take the screenshot then we'll move on if you have any doubt related to the topic feel free to ask your questions or doubts you can use a mic or chat to ask question or if you want to say something so this is a second reaction in which the metal oxide is reacting with acid this is result in a formation of salt plus hydrogen so example if you want to write a word equation say potassium oxide Yeah, salt plus water by mistake. That's right. Metal oxide plus acid is salt and water, not hydrogen. I wrote by mistake here. So, example: if you want to complete a word equation, it's potassium oxide plus nitric acid. What will be the product? potassium oxide plus nitric acid what will be the product so the product is potassium nitrate plus water if i say you have to write a symbolic equation for this
for any reaction if in exam they mention write the equation so it means they are asking for symbolic equation until unless they specify So potassium nitrate plus water. Now you want to write a symbolic equation. So how to write a symbolic equation? Potassium oxide. I want to write a symbolic equation for this reaction. Potassium oxide. So whenever you're writing a, a chemical formula, so you have to work out the valency. Potassium is a group one, so it's plus one. Oxygen belongs to group six, so it is minus two. The two valencies are not same, so you will cross multiply. So when you cross multiply the formula for potassium oxide will be K2, O. Is it clear the formula for potassium oxide? Because potassium is group one and oxygen is group six. So valency is plus one and minus two. Valencies are not same. So we cross multiply and we get the formula for potassium oxide. Nitric acid, nitric acid, you have to learn like nitric acid is HNO3 or hydrogen nitrate basically. Hydrogen is plus one, nitrate is minus one. So nitric acid formula is HNO3. Now how to complete a product? It's a simple thing. The metal will displace. The metal will displace the hydrogen. So this metal which is here will displace this hydrogen or take the position of hydrogen. So it will form potassium nitrate. What will be the formula for potassium nitrate? How you have to work out again. So potassium is group one, so plus one, and nitrate valency is minus one. So the two valencies are same. You simplify it, you'll write as it is. So potassium nitrate is KNO3. Plus water, what is the formula for water? Water is actually like HNOH. So when HNOH join together, you can write HOH or you can write H2O. That's the same thing. No difference. Is it clear? The symbolic equation I complete for this reaction. Potassium oxide plus nitric acid gives potassium nitrate plus water. The symbolic equation, potassium displays this hydrogen. So it will form potassium nitrate plus water as a product. Now, if I want to write an ionic equation, I should know the state symbol. What will be the state of potassium oxide, metal oxide? So metal oxide, metal oxides are solid. So metal oxide will be solid. Metal or metal oxide solid, so small s you can write. Uh, what will be the state of nitric acid, HNO3? That is aqueous, AQ. What is the state of potassium nitrate? Because all nitrates are soluble, that yesterday we discussed the table, so potassium nitrate will be in soluble side, so it will be aqueous. What about water, the state of the water? That is liquid. So now we want to write an ionic equation. First, to write an ionic equation, you should have you should have balanced symbolic equation. So a balanced symbolic equation is needed. So I will write the same equation again, and then I will write the ionic equation. So we have potassium oxide and the balanced symbolic equation with the state symbols.
So we have potassium oxide. It reacted with nitric acid. This result in a formation of potassium nitrate plus water or H2O. This was solid, this is aqueous, this was aqueous, and this is liquid. Now what we will do, first we highlight the substance which is aqueous. So which substance is aqueous? And before this, we, have, we should have a balance equation. So this equation, symbolic equation is not balanced. So I should balance this equation. So to balance this equation, I will start with oxygen followed by hydrogen and then other elements. So you can see three plus one, four oxygen and three plus one, four oxygen. Oxygen is balanced. But what about hydrogen? How many hydrogen are here? Two. And how many hydrogen are other side? One. So what I should do, first I will try to balance hydrogen. So if I try to balance hydrogen, I will put two here. But the moment when I put two here, now oxygen is disturbed. You can see now when I put two here, oxygen number is changed. You can see two multiplied by three, that's six plus one, seven. And here we have three plus one, four only. So when we try to balance hydrogen, Hydrogen is balanced now, but oxygen is disturbed. So again, we should move on to oxygen and try to balance oxygen. So if I try to balance oxygen here again, because three multiplied by two, six plus one, seven, and I have three plus one, four. So if I put two here, then oxygen will be balanced. So first we started with oxygen. Oxygen was already balanced in the beginning. I'll repeat this. Look. First, we started with oxygen. Oxygen is balanced. Then we move to hydrogen. When we move to hydrogen, on the right-hand side, we have two hydrogen. On the left-hand side, we have one hydrogen. So that's why we put two to balance hydrogen. The moment we put two, hydrogen is balanced, but it disturbs the oxygen balancing. So if we disturb the oxygen balancing, then we should move on again to the first step that balance oxygen. So how to balance oxygen? Two multiply by three, six plus one, seven oxygen. And we have three and plus one, four. So if I put two here, what it make? Two multiply by three, six and plus one, seven. So oxygen is again balanced, hydrogen is balanced. And then check the other element, you will find they're also balanced. So even if you focus on two elements, hydrogen and oxygen, most of the time equation will be balanced when you try to balance these two elements. Is it clear? Now we have to write. Now we have to write an ionic equation. To write an ionic equation, we highlight the aqueous substance. So what is the aqueous substance? HNO3 and KNO3 both are aqueous. And we cancel out the common ions. Which ion is common in aqueous substance on the left and the right hand side? Which ions are same or common? So NO3 ions are same or common, we cancel out NO3 ions, both sides. So moment we cancel out this NO3 or nitrate ions, the, what is left is known as the ionic equation. So what we are left, we are left with potassium oxide. We are left with two hydrogen ions. Then we are left with two potassium ions. And we are left with water. This equation is known as the ionic equation for this reaction. Is it clear? This example. This is a second reaction of acid. When metal oxide reacts with acid, this result in a formation of salt plus water. Look in the balancing part. <clears throat> in this balancing part, the order is we start with oxygen, followed by hydrogen and then other element. 
when we start with oxygen oxygen is balanced because 3 plus 1 4 oxygen on the left hand side and 3 plus 1 4 oxygen on the right hand side so oxygen number is balanced then you will balance hydrogen so when you try to balance hydrogen two hydrogen on the right hand side you should have two hydrogen on the left hand side so you put two the moment you put two hydrogen is balanced but what it disturb it disturb the balancing of oxygen why because three multiplied by two is six plus one seven oxygen and here three plus one four oxygen so if again you have to go back to oxygen to balance oxygen first because the rule to make it easy always try to balance oxygen first oxygen was already balanced in the beginning but when you try to balance hydrogen oxygen balancing is disturbed that's why you move on to oxygen so you put two here so when i put two two multiply by 3 6 plus 1 7 oxygen and two multiply by 3 6 plus 1 7 oxygen so oxygen is balanced hydrogen is already balanced and other elements when you put this two are also balanced take this screenshot i will give another example of metal oxide react with acid what will be the result so another example this is the second reaction of acid in which metal oxide is reacting with acid this result in a formation of <clears throat> salt plus what so if i say write a word equation or complete a word equation for reaction between calcium oxide plus nitric acid or take another example like hydrochloric acid so calcium oxide plus hydrochloric acid what will be the result of this reaction calcium oxide plus hydrochloric acid so this will result in a formation of calcium chloride because it's a hydrochloric acid so it will form a chloride salt so this will form calcium chloride plus water that that's a word equation the second is if you want to write a symbolic equation you have to work a symbolic equation working out the formula is always important calcium oxide so don't write like directly the formula first work out the formula calcium oxide calcium belongs to group 2 so its valency is plus 2 oxygen belongs to group 6 so it's minus 2 when two valencies are same you cross you simplify first because the simplest ratio of 2 and 2 is 1 is to 1 so it will be calcium oxide which will be ca o oh. plus hydrochloric acid so what will be the formula for hydrochloric acid
That's it, Seal. So calcium oxide plus hydrochloric acid result in a formation of calcium chloride. So calcium chloride formula, you will work out calcium belongs to group two, so it's plus two and chlorine belongs to group seven, so it's minus one. So when you work out the formula for calcium chloride, it will be CaCl2 plus water will be there. So that's H2O. This is a symbolic equation, but the symbolic equation must be balanced as well. Now balancing for balancing, you start with oxygen followed by hydrogen and then other element. You can select any order, but always start with oxygen. So on our left hand side, we have two ox uh, one oxygen on the right hand side. We also have one oxygen. So oxygen is balanced. What about chlorine? We on the right hand side, we have two chlorine. So on the left hand side, we should have two chlor chlorine. So we should put two, uh, sorry, hydrogen. On the right hand side, we have two hydrogen. We balance oxygen is already balanced. On the right hand side, we have two hydrogen. On the left hand side, we should have two hydrogen. That's why I put two here. So hydrogen is also balanced. What about calcium? Calcium is already balanced when we put two here. Uh, when uh, What about chlorine? That's already balanced when we put two here. And calcium is already balanced from the beginning. Is it clear, the balancing part? So start with oxygen. Oxygen was already balanced. Then we balance hydrogen. The moment we balance hydrogen, the whole equation is balanced in terms of other elements as well. This is a symbolic equation. Then writing the state symbols. What, what is the state of uh, calcium oxide? Metal oxide or calcium oxide? That's solid. What is the state of hydrochloric acid? Aqueous. What is the state of calcium chloride? Most chlorides are soluble except silver, mercury, and lead. That's also aqueous. And what is the state of water? The water is in a liquid state. So this equation is balanced in terms of uh, numbers as well. And we wrote the state symbol. Now, if I want to write an ionic equation. So for ionic equation, first you should have a balanced symbolic equation. So I'll write the same equation already we balanced with the state symbols. Uh, solid, aqueous, aqueous, liquid. Then highlight only the aqueous part and cancel out the common ions. Which ion is common here? So chloride ion is a common ion. We cancel out. And what we are left with is known as the ionic equation for this reaction. So calcium oxide plus this two hydrogen ions are there. This result in a formation of calcium ions plus water. The ions which are common here are having a specific name. They are also known as spectator ion. So which is a spectator ion here? Chloride ion is a spectator ion because before and after the reaction, it remains same. So it just watch the reaction, how it happened. That's why we call that as a spectator ion. Is it clear this example when metal oxide is reacting with acid, this result in a formation of salt and water. Any doubt in this?
So another example, if you have magnesium oxide plus sulfuric acid. What will be the product when magnesium oxide, metal oxide reacted with sulfuric acid? Magnesium sulfate plus water. So this will be the product, magnesium sulfate plus water. That's a bird equation. If you want to write a symbolic equation, so you should work out the formulas for first for magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide, magnesium plus oxygen. So magnesium is group two, so that, that's plus two. And oxygen is group six, so it's minus two. When two valencies are same, we first simplify the valency and then cross multiply. So actually, when you simplify, it is one is to one. So formula for magnesium oxide will be MgO. Plus sulfuric acid, what is the formula for sulfuric acid? It's H2SO4. Now, when metal react with acid, metal oxide react with acid, the metal will displace this hydrogen and hydrogen will take position of the metal. So this will result in a formation of magnesium sulfate. What is the formula for magnesium sulfate? Magnesium valency is plus two and sulfate valency is minus two. Again, the valencies are same. You simplify and cross multiply. So you'll find it's magnesium sulfate is MgSO4. Plus water is there, that's H2O. So this is a symbolic equation. MgSO, MgO plus H2SO4 gives MgSO4 plus H2O. This is a symbolic equation. Then you have to balance the symbolic equation. But when you check, this equation is already balanced. 4 plus 1, 5 oxygen. 4 plus 1, 5 oxygen. So oxygen is balanced. What about hydrogen? 2 hydrogen on the right-hand side, 2 hydrogen on the left-hand side. That's also balanced. What about other element? Magnesium and sulfur are already balanced. So this equation, some of the equations are already balanced when you write them, complete them. Then we have to write ionic equation. To write an ionic equation, we need a balanced symbolic equation. So magnesium oxide is solid, sulfuric acid, aqueous. Uh, most sulfates are soluble except uh, calcium, barium, and lead. So this is also soluble and water is a liquid. So magnesium oxide plus sulfuric acid This will result in a formation of magnesium sulfate plus water. So this was aqueous. This is also aqueous. So we cancel out the common ion. Which ion is common in aqueous substance? So sulfate, yeah, sulfate ions are common in aqueous substance. So we cancel out the sulfate ions. And what we write other than that is known as the ionic equation for this reaction. Keep in mind, I told you yesterday, like H2, because basically H2SO4, what does it mean? It means H2SO4, what ions it contain? It contain two hydrogen ions and it contain one sulfate ion. So whenever a substance is there, aqueous, it means it is existing as an ion. Ionic compounds, when substances are in aqueous, it means it is existing as an ion. Don't write like this. You will lose a mark if you write like this. That's totally wrong. Like logically, it's not possible that H2 with a plus charge is there. So two hydrogen ions will be there, aqueous. Is it clear? So this equation is when acid react with metal oxide. Why magnesium two plus? Because magnesium belongs to group two. So what will be the ch actually? This is this two plus means the charge, charge of magnesium. Because in typing it's written in this manner, but it it's like magnesium belongs to group two. So what will be the charge on magnesium? That's equal to 
plus two. This is a charge written. Two plus or plus two, same thing, no difference. Now, how we can obtain a salt by this method? Take the screenshot. So when metal oxide is reacting with acid, this was result in a formation of salt and water. So how to obtain a salt from this technique? It is similar to what we discussed yesterday, but metal oxide normally does not react uh, very fast, their reactions are very slow. So for that purpose, what is the procedure? Procedure means the method. So the procedure to obtain a salt, first what we will do? We will warm the acid. Why we warm the acid? Because the metal oxide reactions are very slow. So when we warm the acid, the temperature increase. As the temperature increase, molecules will have more collagen or molecule will have higher energy. So they collide more often, result in a faster rate of a reaction. So first we warm the acid, then add metal oxide until no more metal oxide react. Then we will filter to remove unreacted metal oxide and then use either crystallization or evaporation to obtain salt from solution. So this is a technique which we use to obtain a salt by this method. So first what we will do, we will warm the acid. First we warm this acid. by supplying a heat energy and then we use a spatula and transfer this solid metal oxide. And when we transfer this metal oxide to this acid, the acid will react until no more acid left. So when no more acid left, what we are left with, we are left with unreacted metal oxide and this, this acid is no more there because it is completely used and this acid will turn into salt solution. Why salt solution? Because the salt which is formed, it will result in salt solution. Then we will filter. We'll filter to remove the unreacted metal oxide. And then we either use crystallization or evaporation to obtain the salt. Uh, less than a minute left, so I will complete this explanation in the next part. Take the screenshot. <laughs> 